Okay, so in, uh, another one of my series, Know Before You Go, up here, look at the mountain, look at the views here. Magnificent. Up in the mountains, about an hour outside of Medellin. Uh, I'm going to talk about mapping. Um, so if you if you're going to if you're going to be um, sticking to the main highways, then you probably only need uh, Google Maps, um, and you can pretty much download offline maps wherever you go. Um, but if you're going to be, uh, I'd always suggest in each country that you visit, you get a road map as well. Um, it, it does make a bit of a difference if, if anything ever goes wrong, you run out of batteries on your phone. It's always good to have. It's always handy to have in your tank bag or on your tank bag. I have them in my tank bag. Um, but if you're going to be going off-road, you, you, you probably want to have a dedicated GPS device. Um, hopefully, companies like Garmin... I'll get another great view here. Um, companies like Garmin will, will, will ditch their own mapping or maybe just overlay their own data onto an Android map. Um, because... Uh, oh, there's views. Um, because their devices are pretty crap and they make you pay for... You know, I had to pay for South America, the South American map. I mean, they are, they are good as far as, um, you know, you know, knowing where all the late next gas stations are and all that, but there's just so much work involved in, in getting them set up, you know, and their interface is so poor. Um, uh, it's pretty frustrating. I mean, they make a good solid device and, and really... Um, that's what they should be doing. It's concentrating on making really good devices for all different types of vehicles with Android maps. Um, so yeah, I, uh, yeah, I've got. You can see in front of me here. I've got my. I'm using my Google Maps. I'm pretty much staying on the highways today, on the way to Cali. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll just jump off and go on a, a separate road if I've made really good time, and there's another road that. And that's quite easy to do. You can just select from Google Maps. You can just select uh, avoid highways. You can do it on the Garmin device too. And then basically you're, you're, you'll be avoiding the highway and they'll give you alternate routes. Um, in a lot of places you don't get alternate routes. So the best way to do is before you go, you just research some, uh, some other roads. They're usually a lot quieter. Um, all the trucks go on the main routes. Um, so yeah, so, but the other thing you should do is if you're on a motorbike is, is get yourself a cigarette charger so you can keep your device charged all the time. Um, if you're using GPS, then, and, and uh, if you're using your GPS, you'll find your battery will drain pretty quickly. The other thing I use, the other software I use is... Uh, if you go to a website, rever.co, that's R-E-V-A-R, look at that, um, R-E-V-A-R.co, and you pay about $60 a year, and you can actually map every ride you do, and it gives you your, uh, your altitude, distance travelled, time taken, average speed. You can even um, plot markers for, for, for waypoints. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, the free version is pretty basic I think I think a few people complain about it I got the you just pay, pay the money and you know um, the, 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 the things that Rev have got to do though uh, it actually splits if you go to the Rev.co website every 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 ride you do is uploaded um, but you don't have like an overall global map of all your rides which is really I mean it's something they're going to be able to do because they've got all the data there but it's a bit annoying um, and they're starting to do some deals with some uh, device manufacturers as well. I think even Garmin might be, uh, even be on it. So, yeah, so Google Maps, just make sure that you download the offline map so that if you lose uh, GPS or whatever, you've still got the map. 
and also it doesn't suck as much GPS data too. I don't think it does anyway. Um, and if, you, if you're going to be doing a fair bit of off-roading, I'd always suggest get the local maps as well, the paper map. Uh, in each country you can just easily get them. Um, and, uh, and get the Revo.co app, really good app. If you're in the US, it does, it's got Butler maps as well, you can use the Butler maps on it as well. Um, yeah, and they're making some extra things. You can say what type of ride you're going to be doing. Are you going to be doing on-road, off-road, ATV, snowmobile? Yeah, so it's pretty cool. So that, my friends, is uh, uh, my little thing on Know Before You Go with mapping.